what are a few key technical qualities one should be prepared to have as someone who is prepping to go into scripted editing yeah if you want to work in, in, in film and uh well union i guess films and and, and scripted tv shows uh, i think it's safe to say that it's the industry standard uh, you might see more indie projects that are done in premiere and but i mean here's the thing like you're gonna get into there are gonna be some there's gonna be some stuff that you um that you need to do in avid um that you haven't done before so it just you know be prepared for that as well um you know i had when i got into it you know i had been cutting an avid for for years and years in unscripted and in documentaries and then to become you know an assistant in scripted well there's all there's this whole layer of avid that you know i didn't you know i never had to deal with there's one thing that when people ask me um other editors ask me for say recommendations like assistant editor recommendations is they ask do they know how to do how, how are they with turnovers and so that's definitely uh something to get comfortable with it's not that's the thing it's not complicated right it's not a, it's not it's not hard it's just it just made me new like i remember like when i first started i was like i wasn't really sure what it was right but the thing is it's like we also have that one thing i'll say is that uh you know assistant editors are, are awesome we help each other out like is, ask questions like just ask man if you don't know how to do something like definitely ask someone will help you out it's better to say hey man you know what i what is this i'm not familiar with it versus like oh yeah i got this and then you go back and you're like oh let me see how you do this and then you screw it up right touching on what you said it's not super hard and super complicated. It, what the challenge comes in sort of, you know, handling stuff on time. It, it's almost like, and I, sometimes I kind of like compare it to like being a parent, like no one thing about being a parent is hard, but it's like doing all of it on right. you know, little sleep or like, like doing it like all, you know, in one day. And so it's like, so that, that, that becomes kind of your, your, the, the soft skills become kind of your, your most important asset, right? It's like when, when, when requests are raining out of the sky, you know, can you, can you just take those simple tasks and can you, you know, time block and then can you keep your door open for, you know, other assistants to come and ask you questions? Can you maintain those relationships so that when you have questions, you can go to them? So I think that, I think that cultivating all of that is as important as, you know, going, you know, staying up late at night and, you know, watching videos on how to do turnovers. I think that, you know, being being an organized person, being a reliable person, um, you know, being, you know, having good social skills um, is going to be more important than than those technical skills. Is that to say that the technical stuff is not important? You got to know what you're doing, right? But, you know, I think you know, those opportunities come from that, from those, you know, mastering those, uh, or putting an emphasis on those softer skills, man. It, Cause again, again, you go back to this kind of re building relationships thing, you know, as an assistant editor, I think having good sound design skills, it, it will get you, help you stand out. And I think your editor will certainly appreciate it. Yeah. If you get in that spot where, uh, where you are interviewing with an editor, um, and then the editor says like, how about sound? Like you, that is, that is a really good opportunity. You should, you should be able to speak sort of, you know, extemporaneously for a couple of paragraphs on how important you believe sound is. You know, I mean, all you have to do is, you know, go watch your favorite, you know, Netflix shows and just really listen, you know, maybe mm -hmm. even, yeah. even stop looking and just really listen, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe watch a show and then, and then just turn your eyes and listen to it and you'll, you will instantly understand how sound is, is telling the story. And that really is the domain of the assistant editor. 